Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for June 2021. This is a love reading for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. You can check a different part of your chart or even look around on Mondays because the format on Monday is um, different every week. It's a different style of reading every Monday. And thanks to everybody for watching the readings and subscribing and hitting that like button. I had somebody ask if I can make a separate subscription for every sign. I'm not aware of a way to do that. I can check though and look around. But I mean, I it would basically, it's a subscription to the channel. And, you know, unless you had 12 different channels, right? That'd be an interesting way to do things though, wouldn't it? Um, and so if you haven't subscribed too, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know about love, please? What messages do you have for Aquarius, please, about love? Okay. So we'll begin here by drawing three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards for the advice. We have the Seven of Cups, the Devil, oh boy, and the Five of Wands. They have the Ten of Cups, that's interesting, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Your advice is the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Wands, whoa. Well, I definitely say it's in the cards. My God, that's beautiful. The advice, I kind of got nervous. I thought, oh my God, <laughs> who's going to want this for a love reading? But this makes starting to make some sense here. You have Capricorn, you've got Cancer here, you've got uh, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, you've got Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and a little bit of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. So you've got some decisions here, and I feel like it's all about getting away from conflict and negativity and really seeing things for what they are. So if you've been in either a relationship that's been negative or you've just been in an environment where it just feels like you've been steeped in mistrust, dishonesty, negativity. It's time for a change, big time change. Um, you know, the Seven of Cups is like spirit telling you to take off the rose-colored glasses. And so with the devil being here, it's all about your shadow side. And that doesn't mean that it, it's like necessarily even negative. It's like things that you need to learn about yourself. So the devil is a card of toxic patterns. It's limiting beliefs. It may be things that have been imparted on your subconscious along the way. Maybe you had a family who didn't show you great examples of love, you know, and we say, well, why did I have that? Well, the shadow side is the greatest guide into the light. And, and when you know the shadow side, you know the light. You've paid the price of contrast here. It's also a card of not, you know, not living up to your fullest potential. So I feel like that spirit is trying to tell you that you are so worth it to be in a relationship where you're respected, you're admired, you're adored, and you're given, you know, you're given time, you're given integrity, all those important things. And so with the five of wands, it's like leaving behind conflict and it's leaving behind anything that's really petty and shallow because I do feel like too there's sort of a shallowness about this of uh, superficial kind of thing the other thing with the devil is it can be about trading sex for things and I'm not trying to say that you were involved with prostitution or anything like that but you may have been in a relationship where that's kind of what it turned into so this five of wands is, is a change. Fives are about change, but they're also about adventure. So you may find you're embarking on something that feels like this next big piece of the, the journey. It's important. So the person that you're attracting, I do like their energy. I feel like they are going to work hard at winning you over. They are a committed person. They've got not only the... Um, You've got three tens in this reading, so you definitely have a new beginning, a new chapter, a new phase starting. The Ten of Cups is celebration. It's that rainbow after the storm. 
And so I feel like you are a great fit for this person if they've been through a lot too. If they've been in relationships that have not served them well, those were their best teachers. You know, they've learned from those relationships. And they may have too recently had a really nice turn of events where it seemed like they just couldn't catch a struggle. You know, they're in this great high vibrational place. And so with you as their match, what I like about that is it's a relationship that will be sustainable. When you attract a high frequency situation, you're in a high frequency. When we manifest relationships from a low vibrational place, they don't last. They can't. We're two low vibrational people getting together and it's temporary. So I feel like with the Ten of Wands, they're a very hard worker. They will put a lot into the relationship. They will, if there's changes, like they live at a distance, they live far away. I do see this coming together. I do see a move here, or travel or something indicated. But I feel like they're committed to making a home, making a future. And with the Knight of Pentacles here, they definitely see a future with you. And they're very, it feels like very precise, very methodical about how they do things. They want to make it last. They want to do things in a smart way where there's no regrets, there's no blame, there's nothing. They don't want to introduce anything negative into this relationship. So even if it takes a while to get things to where you want them to be, it's worth the wait. It's not something where anybody's playing games and trying to screw around and be somebody they're not. It's just about doing things in a way that is mature, sustainable, and with integrity. So I absolutely love the advice here. Like I said, I was thinking, oh, dear Lord, what are you giving me here? But you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Wands, and the Chariot in the advice. You always like to see um, the Chariot and like the advice or the outcome because it always is about gains, goals, and moving forward. So two major arcana cards and a marriage. You've got a wedding ceremony here. This is awesome. So the Wheel of Fortune is moving that energy, that sort of restrictive energy that you're bringing into things. It's moving you forward. And it's a card, again, of success. You see the Sphinx that holds that sword up. That's all about gains and success. The Wheel of Fortune also features um, several characters that indicate high vibration. It's high frequency time. You may have even, too, you may find you're having all kinds of good stuff pop up. Maybe you get a, a recalculation on something and they tell you it was going to cost you $300. Instead, you're getting $400. It's those kinds of things where if there's a miscalculation, it always goes in your favor. But in terms of love, it's it feels like a whirlwind. You know, all of a sudden you meet and things just take off. And so any stagnant energies, especially with the devil being here, anything where you've been on a real merry-go-round and it keeps being this circuitous thing that keeps coming around, this pushes you out of that. And so with the Four of Wands, that's also a Law of Attraction card. Really, all of these are. Um, it's manifesting in the 3D reality. It's a marriage. It's a Hindu wedding ceremony. These are all three are cards of great synchronicity. So if you see certain things, I mean, you may even start to see, let's say, carriages where you say, I'm going to manifest that. And everywhere you go in just odd locations, there's a carriage. It doesn't have to be a full-size one. It could be a replica. But it's those kinds of things where you keep manifesting this symbol and it's symbolic of your own power to create your own reality. So there's a celebration ahead. And with the chariot, it's not even, it's not all just a card of powerful manifesting. It's a card of um, love too. You know, it's a journey here. It's a card of travel. And as is the Wheel of Fortune though, it's like, it's like traveling the world and or even, like I said, for some of you, if it's a distance issue, there's going to be a move here. Um, the chariot, too, he controls those sphinxes with his mind. So he gets them to pull that chariot without even being attached. You're a very powerful creator. And so what you feel, you attract. You become what you are. And so it's all about becoming that love, becoming this relationship even before it's already here, you know, it's being in the place where you can feel it already, knowing that it's here. And so there's definitely love here coming in for you, Aquarius. Um, and that's, like I said, I mean, there's a marriage here. So let's see what the angels have to say here for you. 
and it feels like a very um not just a stable relationship but a very romantic one too where there's fun there's you know doing new things getting out and having balance too though not you know just I see somebody going to Chicago I am sorry I just got that but I have to say it you know being in like a big city, it looks like Chicago to me, but it's that kind of energy where it's fun, it's exciting. You're not afraid to go out and do things and just see the world a little bit. Um, so you've got big happy changes. I can't agree with this more in that advice, especially compared to your energy. What represents you is like a lot of patterns that it's time to shift and, and move forward out of and you're doing it. So you've got the situation will improve, and that's for sure, because the chariot's all about learning about success, gains, goals. So shoot high. Know that you can have that relationship. There's billions of people in the world. Now, they say improving health, and oftentimes when I see this, I think of spiritual health, not necessarily in the physical body, um, within the next few months. So you definitely are attracting here. And you've got a yes, all right? So this is... Uh, you create your own reality. You can have, do, or be anything, Aquarius. It's yours. What do you want? Be clear about it. And the universe always hears you. I love you, Aquarius, and I'll be back again soon.